The 2017-18 season of the Premier League will live forever in the footballing annals for it was the campaign that saw Pep Guardiola's Manchester City blow the opposition out of the water. Backed by a near-limitless bankroll, the Sky Blues transformed from a aesthetically pleasing but vulnerable outfit to a veritable juggernaut that trampled everyone and by the turn of the year, the title was virtually guaranteed for the blue half of Manchester. It wasn't just about City, however, for a plucky Burnley side stunned everyone by finishing as high as 7th while the likes of Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool just about did enough to secure Champions League football. The Lily Whites have been called a one-man team for so long that it's become something of a joke, but this season if any one player took the Premier League by storm, it has to be the Reds' Egyptian recruit who made a mockery of a sizable price tag as he shattered every conceivable goal-scoring record. The likes of Chelsea and Manchester United had difficult campaigns, trailing in City's wake but they even they had some standout performers this time round. Understandably, after winning the title with an unprecedented 19-point margin, you can understand that the citizens dominate the statesman's Premier League TOTY 4-3-3 formation, but there are a few notable inclusions from the rest of the English top flight as well, goalkeeper, David De Gea, Manchester United, the GEA's won his maiden Premier League Golden Glove this season, photo, AFP, this has been David De Gea's season, as is evident by his PFA Player of the Year nomination. It's not a surprise that he's won the Manchester United Pody four times in the past five seasons and after finally clinching that elusive golden glove, he has to feature. Watching his season's highlights would take an inordinate chunk of your time, he's been that busy. Playing behind an inconsistent and ever-changing defense isn't easy, but the Spaniard has registered shutout after shutout this season and whether you look at his 10 save feet against Arsenal or his ridiculous stops against Liverpool, Anfield and Old Trafford both, it's hard to not get slack-jawed at this man's brilliance. Honorable mentions, Ederson, Manchester City, Nick Pope, Burnley, left back, Marco Alonso, Chelsea, it's not been a good season for the Blues, but Alonso has managed to acquit himself well. Photo, AFP, Marco Alonso's inclusion in the PFA team of the year did raise a few eyebrows, but who would you rather have in your team? Granted, the Spaniard's not been anywhere near last season's meteoric heights, but then again, that's the same for most of his club mates. Still, the 27-year-old has scored seven times this season, with two assists chipped in and those statistics are staggering, any which way you look at it. Had the likes of Andy Robertson and Ashley Young been regular starters from the off, this could have been a contentious decision, but as it is, Chelsea's set-piece expert coasts into this 11. Honorable mentions, Stephen Ward, Burnley, Ashley Young, Manchester United, Andy Robertson, Liverpool, centre-back, James Turkovsky, Burnley, Turkovsky has been superb all season long. Photo, Burnley FC, the sole member of Sean Dietch's squad to get the nod and perhaps the only one who's been on song from match day 1-38. to The 25-year-old probably won't go to Russia with England, but on the back of his 2017-18 season, he definitely should. Of course, Sean Dyche has been the mastermind behind their 7th place finish but Tarkovsky and co. deserve their moments in the sun as well. Nicolas Otamendi has been great for City in their title-winning campaign but the Argentine is just too error-prone and the Clarets strapping centre-back just about edges him out. Honorable mentions, Nicolas Otamendi, Manchester City, Davinson Sanchez, Tottenham Hotspur, centre-back, Jan Vertong and Tottenham Hotspur, Vertong and made light of his compatriots' absence by churning out performance after performance. Photo, Jan Vertong and, Twitter, with Toby Elderway rolled injured at first and out of favour later, Jan Vertong and has emerged as Spurs leader at the back. His partnership with 21-year-old Davinson Sanchez, against all odds, was one of the highlights of the season and it's not a coincidence that the Lily Whites had the third-best defense in the league. 
the 31-year-old is a Premier League veteran, considering he's been in England for six seasons now and the Belgian has successfully proven that centre-backs can survive in the Premier League on finesse, not just brawn. Honorable mentions, Cesar Ospeliquita, Chelsea, Jamal Lassels, Newcastle United, right back, Kyle Walker, Manchester City, a season to remember for Walker, R, and Co, photo, AFP, the Manchester club's right backs have been neck and neck for the most part this season, but Kyle Walker just about beats off stiff competition from Antonio Valencia to make our TOTY. Under Pep Guardiola, the former Spurs fullback has weeded out the inconsistencies that dogged his game during his years in North London. A season or two like this the 27-year-old chipped in with six assists, and he'll enter the conversation to be considered world-class. Honorable mentions, Antonio Valencia, Manchester United, Victor Moses, Chelsea, left midfield, David Silva, Manchester City, despite being on the wrong side of 30, Silva's proved he still got it. Photo, AFP, in his eighth season at the Etihad, David Silva's gone through a bit of a renaissance and City have reaped the benefits. It's not been easy, with the diminutive maestro enduring a difficult time off the pitch due to personal issues, but on the pitch he's been untouchable and with 9 goals and 11 assists, El Mago has made comments over his footballing demise look very silly, indeed. He's come up with a clutch strike or assist so often now, that it's been hard to keep track. However, at 32, he can't keep it up for too long, so enjoy it while it lasts. Honorable mentions, Del Alley, Tottenham Hotspur, Pascal Gross, Brighton. Aren't as pretty as goals and assists, are they? How else would you explain the PFATOTY not having a single defensive midfielder? It's not possible to win the league without at least enforcer in your squad and this season, Fernandino has shielded his defense in a truly imposing manner and any Premier League manager would kill to have him in their squad. Honorable mentions, Nemanja Matic, Manchester United, N'Golo Kante, Chelsea, right midfield, Kevin De Bruyne, Manchester City, the Belgian has truly bossed the Premier League, photo, AFP, considering he was unlucky to miss out on the individual gong to a certain Egyptian, Manchester City's midfield general was among the first names on this team sheet. There's little that's not been said about De Bruyne already, for the all-action Belgian has been outstanding in every department and truly is a modern-day midfielder who doesn't shy from doing the dirty work, while excelling when in possession of the ball. 8 goals and 16 assists are figures most wingers would kill for and considering the 26-year-old effectively plays a deep-lying midfielder, those figures look all the more astounding. Honorable mentions, Abdoulaye Dokor, Watford, Christian Eriksen, Tottenham Hotspur, Left Wing, Leroy Sane, Manchester City, City's future is definitely bright with the likes of Sane in their ranks. Photo, AFP, Kevin De Bruyne may have edged him out to be crowned the Premier League's assist king, but 16 and 15, respectively, you can't deny Sane's just enjoyed the best ever camping of his fledgling career. And considering the PFA Young Player of the Year wasn't even a regular starter at the end of the season, his statistics look even more impressive. Pep Guardiola, as is his wont, has rotated his terrific young wingers with alacrity, but Sainz hasn't let anything come between him as he racked up the goals, 10, to be exact. At 22, the German the speed demon has a long way to and that doesn't bode well for Premier League defenders, most of whom have been left trailing in his wake this campaign. Honorable mentions, Saudio Main, Liverpool, Riyad Mahrez, Leicester City, center forward, Harry Kane, Tottenham Hotspur, Kane almost scored a goal a game this campaign. Photo, AFP, Kane may well have lost out. on the golden boot board and been trolled mercilessly for a questionable goal, but it wouldn't be a stretch to say that this season has, perhaps been his finest to date. In 36 appearances, the Lily White's frontman has scored 30 times, his best ever tally, and he's truly been an epitome of consistency throughout the campaign.
Of course, playing in a team that is built around you helps, but one still has to put the ball in the back of the net and Kane's definitely played a major part in ensuring Champions League football is on the cards for next season. Honorable mentions, Sergio Aguero, Manchester City, Roberto Firmino, Liverpool, right wing, Mohamed Salah, Liverpool, Salah is one of those rare players you can't help but admire. Photo, AFP, a no-brainer, for the Liverpool winger's been so prolific this season that even his own coach, Jurgen Klopp, has been taken by surprise. Liverpool thought they had overpaid for his services when they acquired him at the start of the season, but boy has it proven to be the most prudent 50 million euros a club will ever spend. With 32 goals, 10 assists and quite a few catchy chants, this, the Reds faithful can take credit for, it's safe to assume that Sal has been worth every penny and should silverware in Europe arrive, a Ballon d'Or might just be in the offing. Yes, the 25-year-old's been that good. Honorable mentions, Raheem Sterling, Manchester City, Wilfred Zaha, Crystal Palace.